Capture card. There, should, there probably should be sound here, yeah? Nope. Hey, we got it. Hey, it works. Everything works. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to do a, a new game. We're going to start from the very beginning again, but we'll we'll breeze through the first few uh, screens, puzzles, chapters, whatever, and we'll uh, continue from there. If you guys want to check out the game, it's on Steam right now uh, for $9.99. And it's by the same creator, Joe Richardson, same creator of uh, Four Last Things that we played on stream uh, not too long ago. A couple years ago, I think. Yes. Here we go. Shit, voices, right. I forgot. Wow, that's enough. The holy war is over. No way, already? Yes. We won. Dang. Rejoice, good has triumphed over evil. The North is finally free from the tyranny of Heavenly Peter. Oh, does that mean I have to stop murdering people? Yes, we are now entering a time of peace. A time of spiritual freedom. But I, I, ha I, I don't have the freedom to kill a few more people? No. No more murders. One more murder. No more murders. This is the worst day of my life. If you have a problem with the new regime, please take it up with our new leader. Immortal John! All hail Immortal John! All hail Immortal John! What up, Trash Hunter? Good to see you. I guess I'd better find this Immortal John, chap. Okay. And then... Wait, is it shift? No, it's... I thought one of them showed the interactable items. What was it? What was the fucking no? Okay. Death beheading a cadaver. Just death beheading a, a wee cadaver over there. No biggie. I think I better leave him to it. Okay. Um instructions oh there we go oh middle click to highlight hotspots oh there we go okay someone put a big hole in this poor chap's sternum rest in peace you leaky titted burke i think i'll leave him there a group of lads playing the Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa. Tootie toot, tootie tootie toot, tootie toot toot. Oh, remind me to clap for every one of the musicians. I don't know if it gives me an achievement, but if it does, I want it. My field marshal clasping a broadsword to his ample bosom. You punch like a girl. I am a girl, you witless oaf. I know, I know. I didn't mean it as an insult, just an observation. It was more technique than power, very precise. It was a good punch. Oh, okay, thanks. 
Hello. What do you want now? Where will I find Immortal John? He's about 20 paces to the right. It's really not that difficult. Please, can I kill some more people? No! If you have a problem with the new regime, please take it up with Immortal John. All hail Immortal John! All hail Immortal John! Will I be able to do more murders? Never! No more murders! Okay, I'm off. Good luck! Thank you for your service! And remember, no more murders! My lieutenant general with his heel on the throat of a southerner. <laughs> Ouch! You hit me in literally the only part of my body not protected by metal armor! No fair! Well, you know what they say. Raise your visor, get punched in the eye, sir. <laughs> I missed this the first time I played. <laughs> uh, Gary Arkham, thank you for the nine months. Welcome back. No one says that. Hello? How can we help? Oh, okay. I asked both of you. I'm gonna eyeball this guy. A bloated hanging corpse with a pair of scissors sticking out its back. Gross. He doesn't look like he has much to say. There's a pair of scissors sticking out of the back of this poor chap's, sticking out of this poor chap's back. I wonder if they were administered pre or post mortem. Other than the fact that they would break my teeth and lacerate my face, that seems like a great idea. <laughs> Give yourself a gold star. Yoink. Uh, Silas Nam with the 31 months. Just hi. Have a great stream. Thank you, Silas. Also, first brand new sub of the day. Fluke, 1963. Hail, Berserker. Thank you, Fluke. And welcome. I can see my house from here. I'm not a trained firefighter, but I'm pretty sure that's not how you do it. I think that fire has progressed beyond the blow it out phase. Okay, I think I've interacted with everybody. There we go. B Schlup, thank you for 18 months. Thanks for everything, Zeke and Zeconia. Hell yeah, dude, thank you. Yes, we're all moved in now. Indeed. Some religious types debasing themselves in front of Immortal John. They're busy with their prostrations. <laughs> Slapped him right on the ass. Spanked the bishop! I didn't do that last time! Oh my god, I got an achievement! Yes! That's so good. Can I sp yeah! Give him a spank. Give him a spank. There we go. Spank them all. Uh, let's see. Who else? Anything else? All right. So we talk to Immortal John. Or look at him first. Harbinger of the Fall. Thank you for 29 months. Immortal John, the spiritual leader, the new spiritual leader of the North. I can't reach him up on that fancy throne. Excuse me. How can I help you? Are you our new leader? I am just another person, a child of Mother Earth. The people have chosen to see me as their leader. They have given me a crown, but my life is of no more value than any of my so-called subjects. I would happily renounce my title but the people have chosen to follow me, and I believe their will to be more important than my own individual desire. Um, 
You're utterly delighted by the chaos I'm witness. Yes. I love this shit, man. Uh, Dokar. Dokor. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back. How did you get the name Immortal John? Before the war, Heavenly Peter forced me to jump from the bell tower in a ritualistic murder ceremony called the Leap of Faith. It was a cruel tradition he used to absolve himself of the responsibility of murder. One of many such techniques he used to keep us, the people, in a state of terrified subservience. But I broke the chain by landing in a passing ham. Hey, Wayne. I survived the fall with little more than a mild concussion and some vivid nightmares. The people mistook my serendipitous survival for a miracle and named me Immortal John. Are you really immortal? I highly doubt it. But I guess it's impossible to know for sure until it's too late. Uh, can I do some more murders now, please? Absolutely not! Heavenly Peter's hateful reign is over! I intend to be a benevolent leader. I believe all men are equal and equally deserving of happiness. I believe in friendship and love. I believe we can all work together to build a fairer, more prosperous society. I do not believe in murder. Uh, what led you to adopt such ridiculous beliefs? I suffered as much as anyone else at the hands of Heavenly Peter. I led the people in the uprising against his murderous regime. We fought the soldiers of the South and drove Peter and all of his followers home. Men, women, and children all came together to fight for a single cause. And we achieved something so great none of us had ever dared dream it possible. That was when I realized the error of my old selfish ways, the power of people with a shared goal of teamwork. It was a revelation more powerful than any I had been supplied by God. So we renounced his words and began looking to each other for guidance. Wait, so you never actually killed Heavenly Peter? No. Unfortunately, he fed, fled back to the South before we got the chance. Surely it wouldn't be against your beliefs for me to murder him. Well, he did murder my family and attempt to murder me. And while he is one of the people, he's not one of my people. So I guess I could turn a blind eye. Yes. You won't regret this, my lord. Mission accepted. I'm not, strictly speaking, asking you in an official travel south. I kill Heavenly Peter. Got it. I, I didn't actually. I'll hail Immortal John. Oh, shit. That's it, huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Ahoy, boatman. Can you take me to the south? I could take you to a lugger. That could take you to a brig. That could take you to a full rigged pinnace. That could take you to the south. Splendid. Let us depart without further delay. But I won't be going anywhere until I get me oars back. What happened to your oars? They were sequestered by the medics at the field hospital to make crutches and the like for the battle-worn soldiers. If you have no oars, why are you still standing in your boat? I'm a boatman. I have to man the boat. That's literally my only job. And I ain't gonna stop just cause some punk stole me oars. Do you ever get seasick? I once got explosive diarrhea from eating bucket cockles. I aimed it over the edge of the boat, and the poop was so powerful, I traveled eight furlongs northeast before dawn. Does that count? No, I think that would count as food poisoning. But thanks for the nightmares. <laughs> uh, I guess I should go find you some dang oars then, eh? That would be lovely. Thanks. A brightly dressed boatman manning a boat. I can't reach him. Um, okay. Couple of lads having a good old naked tussle. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get involved. Okay. For some reason, these chaps decided to get naked before fighting. I guess they didn't want to get their jerkins dirty. Or maybe they did want to get their gherkins dirty. <laughs> I'm not here to judge. 
I right, question. Is this game specifically made for Zeke? You'd think so, right? Can I yoink some? I'm already dressed immaculately. Nope, not yet. Okay. I come back for those, I think. The rope has been tied to the mooring post to stop the boat floating away. Not good with knots. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't bite through the rope. I cut the rope. My only means of traveling south will float away with the tide. Okay. Put my sword away. Now we want to... A gray wig cellist playing Johann Sebastian Bach's uh, Suite Number 3 in C Major. And clap. Clap, 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 clap. Thanks for the great voice acting, loving it. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Bravo! Okay, I think that's it for this place for now. Okay. He had more shit to talk about. I don't think I exhausted his dialogue. Don't I recognize you from somewhere? Quite possibly. I used to be a protagonist, just like you. Oh, it's the protagonist from the last game. How can I be so stupid? It's a protagonist from the last game. Okay. I get it now. All right. Can't believe I didn't recognize that before. I believed I was somehow special, somehow more important than everyone else. I thought that I had pers a personal mission in life and that my desire to achieve my goals justified all manner of terrible deeds. Oh yeah, you're the dude who murdered the Pie King? Indeed, that is one of many misdeeds I was driven to perform by my selfishness. I remember that, goodbye. Be good. Oh, what? Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> I didn't do this the first time. <laughs> I did not do this. Uh, the first game was called Four Last Things. Whoopsie achievement. Whoopsie. Okay. Is the is the song over? What do I do now? Okay, it fades out. Seriously. Oh, it auto saved before I jumped down. That was nice of them. Quite nice, actually. Okay. Okay, so he's got the oars. No, 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 go. There we go. A one legged beggar with some unorthodox crutches. Hey! Yeah, miss? Can I borrow your crutches? What do you need him for? I'm traveling south to kill Heavenly Peter. I need the crutches to power the dinghy to take me, uh, that will take me to the lugger. That will take me to the brig. That will take me to the full rig penance. That will take me to the south. Well, I do hate Heavenly Peter. I'd, I'd still have two old legs if it wasn't for him. But as a strict follower of the doctrine of immortal John, I believe my own wishes to be secondary to those of the people. So I will have to ask them. Uh, okay. Hey guys! Should I give this lass me crutches so she can kill Heavenly Peter? No, nope, I don't trust her! I abstain from voting. Too sad. 
No way! That spoiled bitch already has my socks and shoes! Why should she get crutches too? Uh, Mr. Bear, thank you for two months. Welcome back. Smile, smile to you. Sorry, the people have spoken. Okay. Wait, can I just take him? Hey! Yes, miss? Blam! You hurt my face and my feelings. <laughs> a long-haired knight languishing in the lap of a lady. Hello. How can I help you? What's up? We're waiting in line for the hospital. What injuries is he can care for? His hair has grown too long and keeps poking his peepers. That doesn't sound very serious. Suffering is relative to a man's experience of hardship. This poor chap has had an easy life thus far. Oh, boo-hoo. Whenever I find a streamer that doesn't read the dialogues, I just leave Z set the bar too high. Why wouldn't you read dialogues, man? You just gonna let the audience read them? Do work, do at least a little work. I don't like spam. Oh, I'll have your spam. Oh, I love it. I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. Wonderful. Heavenly Peter is a scoundrel. He once farted on the preferment of my malt loaf. And the geese became so active that it lifted the thatch off my kitchen. Can you help me get to the south? I don't know anything about that sort of thing. Never mind. And there's Mars Raptor loving the, the spam. Uh, le Mars, at least change it up. I've seen that thing like four times, man. Change it up, dude. Give me a different spam. Give me a different whatever. What, are those called something, by the way? Oh, you didn't know Rock Your Socks was here. Well, she is, and she will not stand for it. ASCII spam, okay. A sad, oafish knight with a rather fetching battle axe. Pat him on the head. There, there. Everything will be okay. Could you please give Marv's Raptor a shout out for his straw poll creation tool? It is very handy. Yes. I think I saw that. That was for uh, the Indie Sundays, right? Thank you for that, Marv's Raptor. By the by. Wait, what? Oh. That's better. Okay. Everything will be okay. I appreciate the gesture, but I see no evidence to support your claim. Are you okay? Nope. Why so glum, chum? I've been waiting here for six days and the queue hasn't moved. What injuries are you seeking care for? I'm having a moment of existential despair, crying face. I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. About time too. Heavenly Peter is the source of all our woes. The list of his crimes is not is longer than that poor man's hair. MMO gifting out a sub to Solipsist. Thank you very much, MMO, and welcome back, Solipsist one with the 14 months. Good to have you back again. That's some A-level voice acting there, Zeke boy. Oh, oh, thank you, Bigby. Good to see you again. All right. Can you help me get to the south? I'm no help to anyone. Not with that attitude. Wait, what is...
That is all. Ugh. So hold on a second. Did he not tell me what would make him happy? I know I only have to get two out of three. He doesn't say what will make him happy. Okay. Well, I only have to give him the scissors and her some socks and shoes from down there from the naked wrestling dudes. Um, okay, let's make sure to clap for the musician. There we go. And then look at him. A precariously perched guitar player performing Domenico Scarlatti's Sonata in E minor. Srum, 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 de -de -dum. Uh, Abaddon, thank you for the 13. Welcome back. A pitiful looking knight with no shoes on. Oh, it's her that needs help, I bet. Maybe. I don't like to kick or punch a man when he's down. Hello? Uh, I already forgot what I did for that person. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what do you want? What are you doing down there? Waiting to get looked at by the doctor. What injuries are you seeking care for? My boots came off and now my tootsies are cold. I think you uh, need a cobbler or a cord wainer. Not a doctor. The doctor is the cobbler. He got promoted after the last jump took a spin of the midriff. I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. Good for you. Heavenly Peter's the worst kind of villain. He raped my home and pillaged my wife. Can you help me get to the south? Do I look like a sailor to you? No, you look like a grumpy knight. I suggest you find a ship if you want to go south. Okay, bye. Bye. Fancy looking guard guarding a door. Don't even... <laughs> uh... Don't even think about it. Excuse me. Yes. Step aside. I must enter the field hospital. The hospital is at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. Do you accept bribes? I do not. How about now? Please go away. That's an expensive looking suit of armor for someone on guard duty. I didn't buy this armor, I murdered its previous owner. Never mind. That's the entrance uh, to the field hospital. Piss off! As I'm sure you can see from the queue at my entryway, I'm very busy. I have a hundred sick men in here and only two, two lubricated thumbs. I don't have time to chat. You heard the man. Piss off. Hello? Piss off. Okay. Two lubricated thumbs. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm gonna grab those. There you go. Give the scissors to the resting knight. Cut his hair. Would you like my to use my scissors? Thanks! Yoink those socks. There we go. I already stole their socks. I don't want to be greedy. Okay. Oh. There you go. I found you some socks. Thank you. What a kindness. I won't soon forget this deed. All right, so we go back. Hold on. 
Let me save it. There we go. And then see if I can stab this guy. I don't like to kick or stab a man when he's down. Oh. Oh, cut the door down. Don't even think about it. Okay, how about you? I think we're on the same team. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. What if I stab this guy and take his orders instead? Hey! Yes, miss? Eat lead, loser! Okay. Ouch! Oh, so it doesn't... Okay. So I want to get through this without killing anybody. Is what I want to do. Because apparently you can kill people. But I don't think you're supposed to kill anybody except Peter at the end. Um. Oh. What happened to your leg? Whoa. Can you be more specific? I got bit by a pine marten while cowering in the thicket of azaleas. The wound went septic and they had to cut off my leg to stop the rot spreading to my tits. Do you like Samphire? What's that? I don't know. I think it's like a, a herb or something. I don't have an opinion on that. Cool. Good chat. <laughs> Can I borrow your crutches now? I don't know. Let's see. Hey, guys, should I give this last my crutches so she can kill Heavenly Peter? Yeah, she seems cool. Yeah, why not? Give that Tootsie Woman princess whatever she wants. Dang. Well, I guess I'll be crawling through the muck from now on. Here. Yeah. Tips over, of course. Just falls right over. Moikern26. Thank you, Moikern. Thanks. No problem. All right, so. Is there anybody else? I really wish I could get into that hospital. I don't know if there's a way to do that, though. Yep, just piss off. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we'll leave. The double clip. clip yeah, the double click is kind of weird. I got you some dang oars. Can you take me to a lugger that can take me to a brig that can take me to a full rig penance that can take me to the south now? Sure. Just you untie us from the mooring post and jump in. Prepare to be boarded! Let's roll. Why are you uncomfortable? Rock, why are you uncomfortable? Because you're hungry? Why is that man grading another man on himself? Con, because they're wrestling. That's how they used to wrestle back in the day. Naked. What up, shut dog? Good to see you. 13 months. So do you know who the main character is, painting-wise? Does anyone know who the main character is? Because I, I, I certainly don't. Thanks for giving me a ride. I would never have got this far south on foot. Uh, what, I did the smoker's voice for her last time. Uh... <laughs> Is it Joan of Arc? Okay. No problem, pal. 
What are you traveling this far south for anyways? Fleeing the Holy War, I guess. The Holy War is over. We won. Ain't no winners in war, lady. Are these actual classic paintings? Yes, Charlie Coog, they are. A lot of them, well, I'm sure they're from different eras, but they seem like they're all in the same, like, Renaissance kind of genre, maybe? I don't know, though. I don't know. <clears throat> Looks like one of your wheels broke. I, uh, but judging by that massive statue of Heavenly Peter, I'd say we've reached my destination. So I couldn't care less. So long, sucker! Yeah, hold it right there, buddy. Look at my massive key! What business do you have in our town? I'm here on a holy pilgrimage. Okay, let's see your tourist visa. I don't have a tourist visa. Well, you can't come in without a valid visa. Look at my massive key! Look at his massive key! Seriously, though, we don't just let any old riffraff into our town! Piss off! <laughs> Who's the sucker now? Both of us, I guess. Oh yeah, dang. Can you help me get into the into the town? Oh, now you need my help. Yes, please. Well, I am a registered shell trader with a valid shell trading visa. So I could sneak you into town in the back of my shell cart, but I won't be going anywhere until I get this wheel fixed and cheer up my donkey. Uh, uh please repeat that. I wasn't listening. That was too close. You were almost a jill sandwich. Yeah, wasabi! We gotta change that alert now, since we're done with Resident Evil, but we'll get to that, I'm sure, at some point. One of my mods will do it, or I'll do it. But thank you, wasabi, for the thousand bits. Look at that massive key! <laughs> Pardon. Mm. What's wrong with your donkey? He's sad. I, I'll have to cheer him up before I can get back on the road. Well, what's wrong with your wheel? It's broken. I'll have to find a new one before I can go any further. I'm on it. Cheerio. Uh, Nem, six months. You got your second stripe there. Thank you, Nem. You are now imminent in the army of Zeconia. Sure is a lot of shells. It won't budge without two wheels. I'm not going to be able to fix it with my teeth. A huge gaudy golden statue of Heavenly Peter. I guess I'm in the right place. It, this is just a statue. I'll save my aggression for the real thing. F you, Heavenly Peter! Oops. This is just a statue. Okay. Johnny Scar has gifted a sub to M. Kit Diz. Hail, Berserker! Welcome, M. Kit. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you to Johnny for gifting that sub out. All right, this is a big hole, and I'm gonna look in it. I'm gonna look in this big hole. Someone has dug a big hole in the muck. There's nothing down there. Hello? Anyone down there? I guess not. All right, let's clap for these. Make sure to clap for all the all the the musicians, the minstrels. Small chamber orchestra playing Antonio Vivaldi's Chamber Concerto in F minor from the top of well, of a well pruned stone pine. Cha la 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 la. Can I chop the tree down? I usually try to avoid throwing my sword 30 feet in the air for no apparent reason. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, okay. All right, out we go. Oh, here's the painting in the title of, oh, the, 
There's a painting called the Procession of Calvary. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Is my character in this? It's kind of hard to see. Hold on. Let me... There we go. So this is the actual painting, the procession of Calvary. Hmm. Wonder how many people, if, if any, are taken from this. Like to put in the game. <laughs> Interesting. Come on now, Steve. Let's get you home to your wife. I don't want to go back. Just give me a few more hours. You're squandering your, your, your prime playing dead in an empty grave. Think of all the thrills you could be seeking if you were standing aloft. All the pranks you could be pulling up with your pants on. But it's so peaceful in there. <laughs> the horny men. Some somber looking horn players unleashing a particularly dramatic section of Wagner's Siegfried. Siegfried. Da 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 Make sure to clap. Clap for all of them. Your character's from a Rembrandt painting. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. What's what's all this then? Poor Steve. He's resting in peace now. Okay. The boulder is blocking the entrance of some sort of cave. It's too heavy to move on my own. Hello? No response. I wonder if that's the cave they, that Jesus was in. I don't want a pile of gross old bones. At what point does a pile of bones become a skeleton? You need a full set, sure, but do you have to store them in the correct order? Hello, bones. Oh, 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 bones can't talk, you fool. Oh, oh, oh. Is that Steve? <laughs> Those are some big old purple berries. I don't need berries. I'm not going to get my fingers all sticky for no good reason. Eating random berries you stumble across in a corpse-filled forest is not the safest idea. Also, fruit is for geeks. Looks like a dead guy. I'm trying to sleep here, pal. Boop, boop. Okay. Hello? Piss off. A large, fancy looking leather bound book. Yoink. Please refrain from stealing my, attempting to steal my book. I can't sleep unless I have something to hug. Unless you have something more cuddly than this book for me. Not very flippin' likely, I love this book. Piss off. Doesn't look very appetizing. Okay. Oop. Does that do the same thing? I can't pick that up. Hello, grave. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> so we leave this place. I'm gonna go up to this place. Oh, that's right, the screaming place. I remember this. Remember your recently crucified relatives in the way God intended with commemorative t-shirts. Time to clap for the musician. Everybody clap. Bravo. A fancy flautist playing Beethoven's quartet number 10 in E major like his breeches are on fire. 
dilly dum dilly dum dilly dilly dum 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 dum. This guy's having a bad day. I don't think he's in the mood for conversation. I can't reach. She seemed to be selling t-shirts adorned with the faces of crucified men. I don't want to mess with someone so comfortable around severed heads. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, what's going on here then? I'm selling crucifixion merchandise. So the loved ones of the recently crucified can go home with something to remember them by. It's a pretty lucrative gig. What's with the severed heads? I can't fit a whole person on a t-shirt, but I find it hard to draw the heads without drawing the shoulders. So I use these severed heads for reference. I'd like to buy some of your lovely crucifixion and memorabilia, please. You got coins? Nope. Sorry, no coins, no merch. I bid thee farewell. Oh, dost thou bid me fare thee well? Huzzah! I am honored to have been granted the chance to share discourse with such a lady. A queen, no doubt, from the propriety of her speech. Oh, piss off. <laughs> what a bitch. Hey, Grabbin! Grabbin got three months. Thank you, Grabbin. Oh, it's a procession in the background. Is that the procession? It is, look! The circle of people, right there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, would you look at that? Collection of severed heads. Some of them a lot fresher than the others. Can I borrow one of your heads? Sure. You never know when you're going to need a maggot-ridden corpse bounce, am I right? I was being facetious, you twit. Oh, too late. No backsies. Whoops. So I do have a severed head now. All right, sounds good. They don't look very talkative. All right. <laughs> and then there's these, this guy, the skunk. It's a large stinky butted skunk. <laughs> oh lord that stinks work word don't work on wild animals they're only interested in food and sex okay so I, I cut this guy down and get his wheel I remember that part Is he ever going to stop to inhale? <laughs> I can't reach. I don't think he's in the mood for conversation. That one's pretty handsome. I can't reach. Nope, not in the mood. The rest of them went loincloth, no shirt. This guy went shirt, no loincloth. Uh, that's a bold fashion choice, and I love it. He's shirt cocking. He's shirt cocking like he's at Burning Man. Okay. A crippled dying man strapped to a perfectly functional wheel. I don't think he, he's in the mood for conversation. I can't reach it. Okay. Suspiciously hot spotty post. Suspiciously. I like that. Hmm. Why am I even examining this post? I don't think I'm strong enough to pull it down with my bare hands. I can't chew through it, but I'm sure there's an easier way. There we go. Chop! I don't think he's in the mood for conversation. Okay. I'll take it. I'll just pop that in my pocket. <laughs> and there's the man on the wheel. Okay, we got him. Next! Bellana 1633, this depiction of the Roman goddess of war may have reflected the Dutch readiness for conflict during the 80 years war with Spain. He's a gal. Oh, it's a, it's a woman. Yeah, they've, they've said that a few times throughout the game so far that the main character is a woman. Who really likes killing. 
Yikes! A naked man standing on the rock with a longbow. I can't reach his face. I don't want to take a cheap shot at his testicles. <laughs> Hello. Um. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I don't even know anymore, man. I'm trying to go through. I'm trying to make them all different, but there's going to be so fucking many of them. Oh, can I help you? What are you doing up there? Oh, I'm playing shoot the apple off the silly man's hat. Where are all your clothes? I don't have any. I'm nude. What do you do in the winter? I stay active. Are you going to shoot the dang apple off that chump's head or not? Don't rush me. Okay, now I'm ready. Nice shot. Firing a bow is easy when your butt is exposed to the elements. <laughs> is it? <laughs> nice shot. Firing a bow is easy. All right, we already said that. Bye. Okay. Can I, I'm gonna take the, can I take the apple? Can I have my arrow back, please? Sure. I'm strict, strictly infantry trained. I wouldn't know what to do with this thing anyway. Thanks. Did I keep the apple? I did keep the apple, okay. Okay. I don't know what to do with the apple. Uh, I killed this guy last time. I think I don't want to kill him this time. I want to make sure not to kill anybody. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen a game that screams Zeke as much as this. A lot of people have been saying that. It's really, it's really me for sure. All right. A couple of spit boys roasting a ne'er do well. I'm not sure uh, spit roasting is the best form of punishment, but if you're doing, if you're going to cook a man, this is definitely the best way to do it. I prefer to keep my hands well away from active devices of torture. Hello. Um. <laughs> what do you want, Dan? What you doing? We're torturing a thief, ain't we? Cooking up his guts and the like. Ouch. Ouch ain't wrong. What's this chap done to deserve such a fate? He only stole the goddamn cobbler's bloody pliers, didn't he? And when we caught the plum red-handed, he swallowed the flippin' evidence. He swallowed the pliers? That sounds like a level of commitment to freedom that should be rewarded. Or a level of stupidity that should be giggled at. <laughs> Do you really think physical torture is an effective form of punishment? Don't you think a system of rehabilitation and reintegration would be more humane? Are you questioning the methods of yon heavenly Peter then? Because that would be heresy and I don't mind telling you, you could buy, it could buy you a few days on the rack. Oh, no, no, I was only kidding. I love torture, carry on. I'll leave you to it. I sure hope you will. Okay, so I'm talking to both of them, I guess. Let me look at this fire here. Hot. I don't want to burn my face. I don't want to burn my fingers. This guy's having a rough day. I prefer to keep my hands well away from active devices of torture. He's in no fit state for conversation. All right. A tiny impeccably dressed timekeeper. Can you, we figured it out, but can you, oh, it's, oh, it's already on the screen. He's a metronome. I'd rather pick on some of my own size. I don't want to put him off his rhythm. A slightly somber lewd player performing John Dowland's Fantasia. Clapping. Bravo. Strum, 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 strummy, strum, strum. 
a man tied to a tree. Now without an apple on his head. Hello. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> right in the fucking belly. Haven't I suffered enough? <laughs> um... We're kind of busy here, buddy. Oh, so I can't. I was thinking I put the apple on his head. Wait, hold on. I don't see how that will help. Okay, so that didn't work. Um. Oh, that's just another way to look at. Okay, see what see what's interactable. Uh oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. Let me look at the picture here. That you guys put up. There she is. Yep. Bellona by Rembrandt. <laughs> nice find, guys. Nice find. Um, let me see. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> we put the apple in his mouth. You better hold on to this. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm guessing so I put out the fire somehow. The last time I incinerated a severed head, my girlfriend co contracted typhus. I don't think the two were related, but I'd rather not risk it. <laughs> I don't want to melt my sword. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't want to kill anybody. Last time I think I killed the torturers and set this guy free or something. I think I put out the fire. Somehow. Not a pig's You can put apples in the pig's mouth. It's long pig, beers your friend. You never heard of long pig? Did you want me to do one more slap to doctor? Okay, let me do one more slap. Haven't I suffered enough? A crippled dying man strapped to a perfectly functional wheel. I can't like talk to him or anything. I can just drag and drop it. Is the man on the wheel alive? Yes, he is though. Yes, indeed he is. Now, I don't think skunks eat apples. Okay. Let me let me save it real quick. There we go. And I will do no such thing. Okay. That won't help me get ahead in life. <laughs> get ahead in life. It's a pun. Thank you. Wait, what's what else is interactable? That guy, the loot player, the screamers. Anything else? Oh. I can't. I don't want to take another severed head, right? I already have one. Okay, good. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. This place is fucking terrible. I hate the, sc the screams. They're just awful. Okay, so we'll take the wheel. And we'll put it on the cart. There we go. Broken down shell cart. Hello? Hello? What the heck is happening? Quiet, heathen. That should do the job for now. Uh, thanks. Uh, and I need to cheer up the donkey. Oh, I think I gave him the apple, probably. There you go. That should perk him up a bit. Thanks. Will you help me get into town now? Nah, I'm not going to that town. I was telling you a fib to manipulate you into helping me. I'm not a traitor at all. I just flippin' love shells. 
So long, sucker! Fucking <laughs> bitch! Zeke, not a cell phone in sight, just people out here living and experiencing life! Yeah, right? <laughs> that was savage! You didn't tell us you were a gullible rube! The one thing we love more than our priority skilled laborers is gullible rubes. Our whole economy is based on the exploitability of gullible rubes. I hereby grant you free access to our town on an indefinite gullible rubes visa. Look at my massive key! Look at his massive key! You guys are the worst. I can see the basilica on the other side of the canal. Can you explain this game in one sentence? A Monty Python-esque point and click adventure game with a great sense of humor and a classical soundtrack. Pretty good. I think that's a pretty good uh, description. Well, that was weird. I guess I know where to find Heavenly Peter now. Um. Oh, there's the uh, Mary Towns people, right? Okay. A bunch of Mary Towns people enjoying an alfresco lunch. Was this your card? Incredible. <laughs> I did almost, oh my god, what the fuck? Hello, Mary Towns people. Hello, strange lady. Are you some sort of magician? I am the best sort of magician. A surely self important street magician. What kind of tricks do you do? All the classics. Some sleight of hand work, rabbit out of a hat, walking on water, the one where it looks like I'm levitating, but actually I'm standing on my tiptoes in front of some global pre hype rubes to get the reaction shot, then I sub in a shot where I'm getting winched up by a crane for the TV edit. Like I said, all the classics. Classical era Rimworld with Monty Python humor? Rimworld? No, it's not Rimworld? Not Rimworld. Uh, will you show me a trick? Sorry, you just missed one. Oh, come back in a few hours. I'm working on something intoxicating. If you hadn't noticed yet, there's a child on a leash here, on a rope. Oh, oh. You mean, um, um, Discworld. Yeah, you mean Discworld. Now, yeah, that's more like it, for sure. Why do you have a small child tied to a leash? I don't see how that's any of your business. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I can't get past this young boy with a rope around his neck issue. Don't worry about him, he's fine. Okay. But seriously, what's with the kid? You're not going to get any further details on that, I'm afraid. I'm going to walk away from you now. Okay. <laughs> I would be slightly outnumbered in that fight. Okay. Okay. Crowd of eager buffoons. An eclectic selection of lunatics, imbeciles, and simpletons. I would be slightly outnumbered. There's no reasoning with their type. It's a door. I can't reach it through the crowd. Okay. On to the minstrels. First thing we do is oops, run over here and then we clap for them. Bravo! And we talk to them. Toot, 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 toot. A pair of pipers playing through Philom uh, Philomela Lost Her Love by Thomas Morley. So 
So these doors are all locked, closed. It's a door. We open at nine. Hello? We open at nine. It's a door. Hello? <laughs> open up every eye. A pot-bellied ferryman manning a ferry. Whoa, Alethea's getting sh 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 shit boxed. Hold on. I want to make a sound effect for this. Uh, let's see. Jail. No, that's too much. I need it more concise than that. Eh, maybe. Oh, that's an actual jail door. Let's see. No, not the law and order sound. That's not a jail, do that's not a jail cell. Nope. No, not j that's jail sounds. Sort of. I just want that that sound. Hold on. Shut up. Just go away. Never mind. Nope. Nope. Oh, these, okay, those cost money. Damn it. Well, that's Alcatraz. That's too, that's too real. That's actually a real thing. Um, what if I just recorded something and I was just like, shit boxed. Something like that. Let's try that. <laughs> All right, here we go. You've been shitboxed. Oh, God damn it. Uh, fuck. Yep. I have to close my GoXLR program and reopen it again because the sampler doesn't work unless you do that. For whatever reason, I don't know why that does that. But if I put my PC to sleep, the sampler stops working. All right. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. You've been <laughs> shitboxed. How's that? Let's see. You've been <laughs> shitboxed. I think we can go faster than that. I think we can do that faster. All right. Hold on, you got... There we go, that's it, that's it. Yep. All right, hold on. I got it now. You've been shitboxed. Okay, 
How about that? You've been shitboxed. <laughs> That's pretty good. I dig it. All right. You have been shitboxed. Alethea Ashton, this one's for you. You've been shitboxed. Boom. There it is. 120. You got two minutes in the box there. That's all the way from Phoenix 1228 to putting you in the box. All right. It's good. It's good. I like it. Yeah, it could be faster. You've been shitboxed. It could be faster, but I'll, I'll, I'll maybe I'll record something on my own later. <laughs> uh, only way to go. Oh, wait, he sounds like he's trained with a saber. Excuse me. <laughs> How may I help you? Will you take me to the church, please? Do you have a boat pass? Nope. Then I can't take you anywhere, I'm afraid. Where can I get a boat pass? I have absolutely no idea. Shouldn't you know that sort of... Oh, shouldn't you know that sort of thing? Yes, I think it's fair to say I should. People must ask you all the time. They do. But you've never thought to find out the answer? Oh, God damn it! But you never thought to find out the answer? The dialogue's too close together. Usually it's one side and then the other. Never crossed my mind. Is there another way to cross the canal? Nope. Not unless you know how to walk on water. Okay, no further questions. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Found about this game some time ago. If it ever gets English subs or an English dub, you can get your hands on it. I think you can try it out. Uh, Saxo, put it in my game suggestions tab in Discord. Okay. Um, Zeke, have you checked out the online indie games convention that focuses on narrative games on Steam? Ludo, Nar Ludo Naracon. There are a few demos to play for a week, maybe something for Indie Sunday. Uh, give me a link to it uh, in the same place there, Neurobot. Put it in my game suggestions tab. Oh, oh, Arrogant Logician's gonna put it there for you, Saxo. We're all, you're all good then. You already put it there, Neurobot. Okay, cool. I will I will take a look at it. Um Okay, uh, oh someone asked, can I take out my sword? Yes, I can take out my sword and and ostensibly kill the guy, but um I'm trying to do this without killing. I think there's a pacifist way to do this. Someone help me get ahead in life. Okay. Is there another, another something to do? I'm wondering. Oh, I think I give him the head, right? That's not an appropriate substitute. Oh, okay. So that's not it then. Okay. Did someone want berries? Okay. Someone wants berries eventually, but I can't remember when or who or how. There we go. Uh, tips to Spiz, thank you for 13 months. I put the head down there, maybe? I'm not gonna throw that down a hole for no good reason. Oh, okay.
Now, last time I got the pliers out of the guy's stomach uh, by cutting him open. But I think there's a way to make him puke with those berries or something, maybe? Wait. Oh, he's not in the mood of conversation, right? He looks like a nervous Eastern European high diver. Okay. There's something to do with this skunk. Large stinky butted skunk, right? Okay. They're only interested in sex and food. And I can make him fart. to talk and I can't put the head in the fire right yep and I, I don't think I can talk to him can I yeah I don't want to put him off his rhythm right so I can't talk to him I can't remember where to go from here. If I don't want to kill the guy, someone wanted berries of some sort. <coughs> um. Okay. So what he's done, he stole the goddamn cobbler's bloody pliers, swallowed him. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Okay. How do I get the pliers without cutting them open? I can't I can't kick the metronome. It says I'll, I pick on someone your own size. Oh wait. What if I gave him the head? So there's another head? I don't want that. How about you? Would you like it? Nope. Kind of busy here, right? Okay. The torture -y. Yeah. Okay. I can't pick up the skunk. I can only make it fart. Yep, won't help me get ahead in life. Okay. I think I need to talk to this lady again. See what she wants. Hello. Hello. No. Paris, but still cherished. I love it. Okay. God, I hate her. Okay. Okay, so there, and it said I already have one. Yep, okay. Gotta get out of here. Perhaps he's your one freebie in the game? I don't think so. And I, I can't pick the berries yet. There is something that makes these guys leave, though. And it, ma it makes these guys leave, too. Okay. Oh, there we, here we go. More dialogue. Can you teach me to walk on water? Sure, if you do something for me first. Here it is. Okay, what do you need me to do? 
I need some purple berries for the new trick I'm working on. I could go and collect them myself, but I'm busy bathing in an adoration of the symphonic followers at the moment. If you find me some purple berries, I will happily teach you to walk on water. Okay, I can do that. Now I can get the berries. Uh, Gex023, thank you for the four months. Man, they just don't let Alethea come back, do they? Once, once she gets timed out, she's timed out for a while, huh? I've got plenty. Some big old purple berries. Wait a minute. Does this guy have any more dialogue? Okay. Nope. All right. He's resting in peace now. Okay. And I clapped for these guys, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Just in case. Out of curiosity. I just want to know if I can get the berries. Or use the berries to make this guy throw up, perhaps? Berries won't help with that. Okay, maybe not. You want berries? No, okay. Back to it, back to the thing. All right, hold on. Let me do this. Oh! Oh, he doesn't seem to like berries. This must be a carnivorous skunk. Okay. A carnivorous skunk. That's good to know. Can I? Okay, hold on. Oh, oh someone opened a window. All right, I'm gonna save it right here. And I'm going to try and, oh, he won't let me. That's right, I already tried that. I will do no such thing, right. Right, okay. I don't do mercy kill, he's not my style, okay. Yep. Okay. Just, I just want to see. They're not that bad. Okay, I can't kill them. Okay. So out we go. We still haven't killed anybody yet. All right. Hold on. Yep. F you, right? Can I throw the head at it? Okay. How about berries? Nope. The skunk never actually sprayed me, though. Here's your dang berries. <laughs> Thanks. Can you teach me to walk on water now? Sure. Let me ask you one question first. Shoot. Is this your card? Incredible. How do you, oh my God, what the fuck? What the heck is that? It's a boat pass, dummy. Oh. Thanks. Okay, so there's the boat pass.
I'm pretty sure I have to get those pliers at some time. But I think, I, I know I come back here at some point. And those, the, the, because those two doors are open. I found a boat pass. So you did. Will you take me to the church now, please? Sure, hop in. No, Fox Machine, I just started from the beginning to play the game all the way through. A couple of ruddy-cheeked loot-playing neighbors bonding over Fantasia Nest 58 by Francesco Di Milano. Strum, strum, dilly dum. Clap. Clap for them. Double clap. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one. Okay. Um. Hello, traveler. Well. <clears throat> Welcome to Heavenly Peter's Basilica. How may we be of service? I'm here to murder Heavenly Peter. Haha, <laughs> that is definitely not allowed. Dang. The church is not open to unsanctioned visitors at the moment. We... <laughs> we could possibly let you in. We couldn't possibly let you in right now. Wink. Step aside, fools! We will not step aside. Heavenly Peter is still recovering from his homecoming party. The bouncy castle is yet to be deflated. Yes, it's a health and safety issue, really. There's nothing you could do to convince us to let you in. Wink, wink. Step aside or I will gut you alive and defile your bile weeping corpses. Seriously. There is nothing you could give us to make you, us let you in. Wink, wink, wink. If you don't step aside, I will flip out and become dangerously hysterical. Take a hint, buddy. We are trying to solicit a bribe. Are you trying to solicit a bribe? A bribe? What a wonderful idea. Well, now you come to mention it, we do love bribes here in the South. How much do you want? I'm afraid we can no longer accept cash. New, pap new, new papal policy. I almost said PayPal again. Straight from the top. We have too much cash already, apparently. Almost all of it, in fact. Ha 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 ha. I like expensive jewelry. Oh yes, me too. Ah, uh, um, I'll take some expensive jewelry too, please. I would like a supply of young boy, young supple young boys with rosy cheeks and a pert little butt. Perfect. Well, that's sorted then. Bring us three items of expensive jewelry. And a supple young boy with rosy cheeks and a pert little butt. And we will look the other way while you enter the church. Sure. I can do that. I guess. But, I mean, could we maybe just call it four items of jewelry? Absolutely not. Oof. That's a hard no, haha. -ha. Okay, fine. I'm on it. Ha <laughs> ha ha! All right. There we go. All right, saved it. 